Hi everyone, in this video or in this lecture, we would like to discuss the telephone system. So the telephone system have two main types. Number one, the traditional telephone system, such as in our home and in many buildings. Number two, the IB telephone system. So what is the difference between these two types? The traditional telephone system simply is similar to the normal telephone system such as in our home or it can be a centralized or a babix system inside our home as we will discuss now the ib telephone system is different from the traditional the ib telephone system using the internet in order to transfer the voice or the uh, call or the voice calls and it has more features than the traditional telephone system so the traditional system having a several components so what are the components of the traditional system the traditional telephone system consisting of the telephone itself okay in which we are going to do our calls or make our calls very logical and we have the telephone and its outlet which is called rj11 okay you will see that here this is our outlet the telephone outlet which is called rj11 and you'll find there is a difference between rg11 g and rj11 the rj11 is representing the outlet in which we connect our telephone to it okay but rg11 is a type of cable which is used in other types of light current as we will see in the next lectures the place of the rg11 the place of the telephone rg11 or the outlet depends on the furniture of the buildings and the owner desire so for example if we have an office so i should put the outlet or the uh, RG11 outlet, outlet next to the uh, each of the uh, office or each of the uh, where the desk exists or our uh, telephone exists okay so it depends on the furniture inside our building or for example in our home we can have more than one telephone and it is all of them are one line okay we can use more than one telephone according to my own desire okay this is in our home now the telephone conductor itself in which we connect from here to here can have a different diameter its diameter can be 0.4 or 0.6 or 0.8 millimeter the one which is frequently used is the 0.6 millimeter this is the one which we usually use each telephone requires one pair positive and negative so what does it mean one pair means that two conductors so one pair is equivalent to two conductors so two conductors one conductor which is a positive and another conductor which is negative so our telephone will need one pair this pair is divided into two conductors one which is representing the positive and the other which are representing the negative the cable of course which uh, carry all of our telephone pairs it can be one pair two pair hundred pairs three hundred pair one thousand pair two thousand pair and etc so here is a number of pairs representing the number of telephone so for example if i have 100 telephone in our building then i will need 100 pair cable where each pair is a connection to our telephone line okay the other component in our telephone system we have here the rg11 which connected to the telephone now the rg11 is having its uh, connection or is connected to sub distribution frame so telephone box or the idf intermediate distribution frame or SDF, the sub distribution frame, which is this one, is the one which supplies the uh, signal to the RG11. Okay, this is just a, a used for arrangement or used for collecting all of the telephone lines in our floor or in a specific area. 
So it can be found in each floor or each area. So each RG11 having a connection here. For example, number one here representing RG number one, RG11 number one for telephone number one. This one is for telephone number two in another room, for example. Three is for another one in another room and so on. So this one is used as an arrangement or collects the uh, cables or the bears inside our uh, floor. And this is a, uh, another uh, diagram for it. Okay. Now you will find that each of our uh, telephone frame or telephone box or IDF or SDF or subdistribution frame is consisting of a group of modules. You will find here we have one module another module here and another module here each we have here in sub distribution frame we have one two three three uh, modules each of these modules is consisting of 10 pairs you will find here this is an example of the module and you'll find here one two three modules you will find here one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so we have here ten uh, pairs so we can get out of it and go to the RG11 so each of this module uh, can carry 10 pairs you will find here two modules which means it is a 20 pair SDF this one three modules which means it is a 30 pair SDF it is identified by how many pairs such as 10 pairs or at 20 pairs or at 30 pairs and etc now another component is that we have at the beginning the telephone connected to the rg11 rj11 okay not rg rj because rg is a cable connected to rg11 and rg11 all of the rg11 inside our uh, floor connects to the SDF or the sub-distribution frame and all of the sub-distribution frame goes to the main distribution frame or main telephone box okay it's called the MDF or the main distribution frame where all of the SDF uh, cables or all of its pairs of course it is a cable so which carry all of the pairs of the uh, the sub distribution frame itself all of them are collected in the main distribution frame so it collects all of the cables from the sdf or the idf intermediate distribution frame or the telephone boxes in all floors it is uh, put at the entrance or in front of the buildings it is identified by number of pairs. It is a 10 pair, 20 pair, 300 pair, and so on, or etc. So you will find here the number of pairs in this sub this main distribution frame depends on the total number of pairs inside our building, or the total number of cables inside our building. Now the uh, main distribution frame is connected to babex or the uh, babex or the private branch exchange okay here we are going to take all of our cables or all of our main distribution frame pairs or cable goes to the babex it is called also e babex or the electronic private branch exchange or ePabex electronic private branchy exchange all of them are the same meaning or representing the same uh, thing okay this is called this is simply the central inside our uh, building okay now it is used in the internal telephone system such as in a company if i would like to make the people in the company have a connection between them or make a telephone calls between them then we'll use the Pabex in order to make the arrangement or provide the arrangement between all of the uh, telephones inside our building so it allows the communication between telephone lines in the building by programming this Pabex 
we can identify which telephone lines will have an external line from telecom company itself. So what I mean by this, simply we have, for example, 100 telephones inside our building. This 100 telephones will be able to communicate with each other internally inside the company itself by using the Babix or the private branch exchange. By programming it, we will be able to communicate with each other inside the building itself or inside the company itself. Okay, without the need of any external lines from the telecom company. Okay, it is done internally or between each other. So for example, if I have a telephone number one and I would like to communicate with someone having a telephone number 10, then I will type a certain code inside the telephone to communicate internally with this or someone, okay, or with this one or telephone number 10, okay. Now, for example, if the manager uh, would like to communicate with someone in the company itself, then it simply will be connected using the Babix. But what if the manager would like to uh, connect or communicate with someone outside the company? Okay, so in this case, we will need an external line from telecom company. So from or using the same wire connected to the telephone, we can make calls inside our uh, company itself and I can provide or communicate as a manager with someone outside the company. So as an example, the Babix itself can be 10 out slash 100. So what does this mean? It means that 10 lines, 10 lines which are external lines from that telecom company and we have 100 lines or 100 telephone lines, the total uh, telephones for internal communication. So 10 out slash 100 means that we have 100 telephones inside our building. Out of this 100, we have 10 which is connected to external line. So we have 10 people or telephone or 10 telephones inside our building which take or communicate using external line okay in order to communicate with someone outside the building okay or outside the company itself okay now another thing is that Babix can be identified by the backup battery for operating it for how many hours so here is a simple uh, diagram or a simple single line diagram for our traditional telephone system you will find that we have our Pabix, which is used to may allow the communication between all of the telephone lines in our building. And the Pabix will receive from the telecom company a certain number of external lines for those who would like to communicate outside the uh, company. Okay, if we have five people, which is having uh, the uh, communication or would like to communicate with something, someone outside, then we'll need five external lines from our telecom company. Now the Babix will uh, be connected to the main distribution frame, will provide all of the cables to the main distribution frame, and the main distribution frame will be distributed among different SDF or sub-distribution frames, where each SDF representing an area, or representing a floor inside our building. Now from each SDF, we are going to distribute our pairs to the RG11, RJ11, not RG, RJ11. Then from RG11, RJ11, we will connect to our telephone. So you see that this is a simple diagram for the telephone system in our company. Now we have another system which is called the IB or VIBE system. So what does this mean? This one is different from the traditional system. The VIBE phone do not use a traditional twisted bare copper wire. Okay, they don't use that traditional twisted bare copper wire which we discussed before, but they use uh, cables such as the data cables for, for example, the Ethernet cable. Okay, 
the phone are connected using the same broadband internet connection that plugs into a computer or router so here the communication or the communication or voice calls between people inside the company is done using the internet connection not using the traditional wires the VoIP phones convert the calls into digital signals within the phone itself and they don't rely on the physical exchanges that line, landlines do. So here in our company we will have a two system one which is the traditional system traditional telephone system and the other data system or data system. Now instead of having two systems we will use one system such as the data system in order to provide the internet connection and allow the connection between different uh, companies or different um, telephones inside our companies and at the same time we are going to use for data communication between people itself or the employees inside our companies itself okay so the VoIP phones convert the calls into digital signals, okay? Not by using a traditional, we will have one system which can be used for data and at the same time can use the for making phone calls. Now the VoIP itself stands for the voice over internet protocol, okay? So you'll see that it is used by uh, it is done by the usage of the internet communication system this is a business communication technology that allows for making and receiving calls over the internet so again and again we use it by or we do the communication here by using the internet connection okay or we make the phone calls by using the internet connection the VoIP service providers are able to offer a wider and more useful features that enable businesses and their employees to be more productive and efficient with their day-to-day -day communication. Now, what are the advantages of the IB or VoIP system over the traditional system? Reduce the IT infrastructure. Okay, we have now the data system which can be used for both of these uh, features it can be used for the telephone system and at the same time we can use it for the uh, communication system or data system okay the uh, it can also be used to eliminate the need to pay a phone company for traditional phone lines so we don't need any uh, technicians in order to install our traditional phone lines we don't need any bear now okay we will we will understand this when we go to the data system it's safe as much as 60 to 70 percent on phone bills enjoy advanced features that are not available with the traditional business phone system such as the internet calls which are of course are mostly free okay most of the phone calls which is done through the internet communication itself is uh, free of course so in this lecture we discussed the uh, the traditional or the telephone system the different type of telephone system such as the traditional telephone system and the VoIP or the IB telephone system